Hey guys, Taco Cyclone FB, and I just got done doing a very, 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 very long video on this radio and adding this module and doing all the work to this radio that it needed. And while a lot of the work, a lot, a lot of the time spent was on the radio itself, I did find that this module, updating this JP4 in one module, was somewhat of a headache. So I've gone ahead and added some instructions on our website for it. I'm gonna make this quick video on it as well. Okay. okay let me show you a few things though, just to keep just to keep you so, so that for, from wasting a bunch of time on this. The first thing is this. Make sure that you look and see it says JP4 and one like this one does right there, okay? It is a JP4 and one module. Now, if you go and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna see a bunch of things on my, my screen here. And by the way, this computer is gonna be turned off today. I finally got my other one sitting back here. Um, so look, if you go to the website, our website right here, right? Cyclonefpv.com. Give it a second to load again. It is moving somewhat slow, but I'm gonna show you what you need to do, okay? Uh, let's see, so if you go down here, I'm gonna refresh this page because I added these links now. So we should see something here jump up for this JP. So here we go, JP four and one. So let me go to my software links right here. And um, you see this multi-modules download right here? Okay, so check this out. So I put all the files here that you need in order to get this to work, right? Now it's very specific and I'll explain to you what it is. First of all, if you click just right here on multi-module downloads, you'll go to the multi-modules page where you can find all the links that you need. I'm trying to save you a little bit of time as of July 20th, 2021. I don't think I'm gonna update this much though. So if you find that there's newer files, let me know and I'll update it. Okay, so you're gonna need a few things. This is the multi.txt file. You're gonna need that. Now it's in zip format here, meaning when you click this, it's gonna download it. So let me show you what happens. You're gonna get this downloaded as a zip file, okay? Uh, and there it is right there on the bottom left, you can see it. The next file you will need, so all these you're gonna need. You click on the next one, that's gonna be your Lewis scripts in zip file. You're gonna need that one. The third one you're gonna need is the actual, there it is, my mouse just is going crazy now too. Third one you're gonna need is the actual, this is the actual firmware as of today, and here's the description of the firmware. It is for serial based, which is the most common, right? Like SBUS. Uh, it is gonna be for an open TX radio, uh, and it is going to be, um, I think that's the only options there are, but let me show you something real quick. So if I was to right click here and click uh, left click on open a new tab, that way I can save my page here. I download, this is what I needed for this radio, which is a free sky radio, okay? But here's what you can do. If you come down that, that page and you just say, okay, I'm using the JP4 and one SE, that's this one here. And I'm using the, uh, uh, I'm using the, um, let me see. I think you're using the STM32, yeah. The model type is the STM32 4 and one okay? Uh, and you are using the serial based and you are using, you pick your, you pick your protocol, uh, I mean, you pick your channel order. In this case, the channel order is TAER. That's the file I have. If you don't like that file, then you can just come over here, fill in this thing like you want, right? And then it gives you the file right here. These other two are what I've already posted on the page. This is the file that I've also posted, but if you wanted to change it and say, I'm using a jumper T18, then you're gonna end up getting something like this, okay? So this is strictly for the one that I've done on the OpenTX, but um, either way you do whatever it is that you, you wanted to get your file. So here's a third one right here. This is the firmware, so we're gonna click that as well, okay? Now, those are all in zip file format, okay? The next thing is gonna be your flash tool, which is gonna be this one right here. Now, I will tell you that if you, this one needed the flash tool because it could not be flashed from the radio because it did not have the bootloader loaded. Once I used the flash tool, it was a piece of cake and I would probably recommend you just use the flash tool at the beginning anyway. If you have a problem like uh, you get an error when you try to update this from your radio that says will not sync, you need the flash tool, okay? <coughs> so I'm gonna show you exactly how we did this. So first we're gonna go to our downloads folder. Okay, and I'm gonna show you all the files. All right, and we're gonna extract them as you need to, okay? The other thing I do wanna to note to you is that um, the driver that you need for this, if you plug this directly into your computer, because it won't work by updating it through the radio, you need this, you need this driver right here. You need the CP210X VCP driver. Make sure you download that. This does not work, and I have now updated our site to say to only use this if VCP fails, and that applies towards flight controllers and everything. The VCP driver is more universal in this case, and it's gonna work. I had this loaded and it would not flash, okay? It wouldn't see a COM port, that's why. So uh, this is gonna be your virtual COM port, that's what you need. Um, so anyways, you have to load this in order to be able to flash this with this software right here, okay? So let me show you again, let's get to the folder and I'll show you what we've got. Here's our downloads folder. Okay, when you extract these files, it's gonna end up looking like this. And let me go, I've already done this, so I'm gonna show you. You're gonna have your, I'm gonna delete these right here because I don't need these anymore. Um, you will end up with, 
the following. I, I created these zip files for you guys so I could you could download them. Once you extract them, you're gonna have exactly what I'm talking about right here. So let me show you. Okay. These are the exact links that I gave you. And when you open your files, you'll end up with these. These three right here, okay? Uh, and I think there's one more actually, so hold on a second. So we have the multi. Uh, in our downloads folder, we have the flash, the multi, the multi. All right, so let me go ahead and take all four of these, and I'm gonna cut these, and I'm gonna bring them over to my folder so I have them for future reference, okay? So let me paste these right here. I think the only thing that we're missing is the, um, the uh, Lua scripts, which I had here and I accidentally uh, deleted it just now. So let me go ahead and extract all. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna, once you extract your zip files, it's very simple. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, and I'm gonna show you how my SD card contents is laid out because I created an SD card contents and here's your scripts. Here's your scripts, right? So I'm gonna put this one, uh, let's see, multi Lua scripts is right here, okay. So I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna move these. If you'll just give me a second. I'm gonna cut these. Oh, come on. I just don't want these to be, uh, let me put this in here. Let me do new. I'll just make a zip folder. That way we can get them out of the way because I don't want you to get confused. So let me just do this, zip files. Okay. So we're gonna just take these one, two, three, and four, and we're just gonna put these in here. Because once you extract them, you really don't need the zip files anymore. All you need is this stuff right here. All right, now I've, I should end up with four files. One, two, three, four. These are the four that I need, okay? So let me show you exactly what we did. In the, in my um, SD card content, so let me go to SD card. In my SD card, I took the multi Lewis scripts and I went to my scripts, okay? And I went to my tools. And if you look right here, I created a folder called JP4 and one, and I put the entire contents of my, my scripts here into that folder, okay? And you'll see that right here. So just create, a, you can create a subfolder and in your, in your SD card, that's what I did, okay? The next thing, and that takes care of those contents. So copy those over. Now you can do that directly to your radio's SD card, or you could do it through OpenTX and then and then synchronize it too. If you either way you can do it, as long as it's in your SD card and in this area right here is SD card tools, JP. I made JP4 and one because it was easier to keep track of. Okay? So that's step one. Now let's go back to our folder. Step two is using the multi-text. That multi.txt file goes in the main area of your SD card right here. So you have your SD card and there's a, full, a file called OpenTX SD card version right here. You're gonna put the multi-text right here. So all the subfolder, all the folders are uh, here. So this is basically the top, the top folder, the top location, right? So this is where you put your multi-text. So now you've got your Lewis scripts in your folder under scripts and tools. You've got your multi.txt in, the, um, in the main area of your SD card right there, okay? And now what we've got is two things left. You have this file, which I've shrank down in size so that it can be read because I had it in the original size that was too long. And so I couldn't see it on the radio. So I shrank this down and I created a, a folder in my firmware folder called jp 4 and one And in there is that file. This only helps you if you can update from the radio. If you can't, this is a very moot point right now. However, I put it in there anyway so that any future updates could be done this way and we'll follow this protocol, okay? So the only thing left really is what do you do if you can't update from your radio? Well, here's what you do. You extract this uh, file here, which is one of the downloads, and if you go into it, you're gonna see this right here. You see this flash multi? You're gonna double click it, okay? And when you double click it, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna open the program up. Give it a second, because my computer's running a little slow. And you're gonna use the same plug that you would have used to plug into your radio. It's gonna plug into the back right here. Watch this. I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, and under my device manager, which I will get here in a second, if you look right here under device manager, it's gonna open, so just give it one sec, okay? Okay, here's my device manager. And when I plug in this JP4-in-1, I get this COM port right here, look at Silicon Lab CP210, 
USB to UART com, uh, bridge. And there's my COM port, which is this right here. So I select COM3, okay? And then I can tell it, go ahead and read the module if you want. And let's see if it gives me, here's my data. Okay, so it's reading the flash memory. It's gonna tell me, it's gonna check it and do whatever I need it to do, just to make sure I have a good communication back and forth, okay? Now, I'm just hanging tight. I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. And this is just doing it to show you it's communicating, okay? What you will do, look at that. See, everything here is good, all right? Um, and so it tells you the version. It tells you everything about it, exactly what you need, okay? So what you will do is you will click Browse for your firmware. You will find the firmware in the folder in the downloads that I've given you, which is this one right here. And once you do that, you will click Write to Module. Now, I'm not going to do this because I've already done this once, but once you write to Module, it will write all the data through that, okay? When you're done with that, you can simply eject it. You can plug it in the back of your radio, just like this, okay? And now, let's take a look from above. We're going to power it up. Okay, and what you're going to see, oops. you can see here you've got your you've got your multi-channel name right here. You've got uh, your files here, okay, uh, so that you can go and 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 handle those if you want. Um, and then what you can do is let me let me click page here. Uh, we're going to go to our firmware, and right here is the JP four and one. And if I was to click it now and say flash external multi it's gonna be able to flash it, okay? So this is everything that you need to do right here to make it work. Uh, I think other than that, guys, that should pretty much do it because once we go to our model and we start checking, look, now we can do our, um, our uh, let me go to our, where is it here? External right here, okay? And I can click on type and everything is updated with no problem, all right? So you have all the options here for your multi-protocols and it's all updated and ready to go. So as long as you see that and you have no problem, you know that it's working perfect. Now, I don't know what we were gonna run on here, but I'm just gonna, I'll just do it like that and click exit and exit. And that's it guys. There's absolutely nothing more to do than this to it. Uh, if by chance uh, you cannot read the, um, the uh, files in your multi, uh, in your tool section here, right? So you have your multi name right here, and it's going to run. And you can you can do all these to, to 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 set the channel names and to set the protocols and all that. You're perfect to go right there. Everything else should be good to go. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to check one last thing here just to see if um, the if there would be a difference here. So let me I'm going to plug in this radio and I'm going to try something real quickly because while I like to keep it organized, I am going to see what if any difference there is if i take the files and i'll show you exactly what i'm doing here right so i put the jp4 and one lua scripts in its own in scripts and then tools i made a jp4 and one problem is is the more i look here i don't see all of these so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to let me see how i named it on here if that's at all possible so I put in here, see how these are right here? I don't believe that these are showing up on my site. So what I may do is I think I'm just gonna take these and put them in the main. Um, I think I'm gonna put, oops, sorry. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna quick cancel here and leave these here. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the main folder and just see uh, if it's going to make a difference for us because here's scripts and then here's tools and I put this you see how one of the things that I'll show you is if you look here on the screen no they're they're all here so let me just let me see where go to scripts and tools and then the JP4 and one and then here's all your Lewis scripts right here sorry i wanted to make sure that we could see that so all your lewis scripts are going to be right here okay um so i would definitely uh use that and leave it just like that i like it organized this way so but anyways that's it once you've done this you're done all right guys so just you go to our website download the file save yourself a ton of hassle all right because this really took a lot longer than needed because the website was very sketchy on um you know just getting 
getting the drivers to load properly, getting this to work. Uh, so follow that. And if you have any questions, as always, look, check us out. You can go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash cycling FPV and ask me any questions or contact us via the website. And as always, please, 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 please support my company and the work that we do here by just subscribing. That's all I ask. Subscribe and get word of mouth out to other people. All right, guys. Listen, <coughs> that <coughs> about does it right now. Listen, uh, I'm going to get ready to go have some dinner. My beautiful, wonderful wife has got an awesome dinner. I'll say what's up to my kids. Love you all very much. Can't wait to see you and to everybody else. God bless. Be safe. And most of all, don't forget to spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon, guys. Be careful. Bye.